हाय एवरीबॉडी आप सभी को मेरा सादर जय जिनेन्द्र आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो अगेन वी हैव सीन अ मेजर सेल ऑफ इन द मार्केट टुडे इज ऑब्वियसली नॉट अ ग्रेट डे फॉर द इन्वेस्टर्स राइट द पोर्टफोलियोज वुड हैव बीन डीप रेड स्पेशली इफ यू लुक एट बैंक निफ्टी टुडे बैंक निफ्टी वाज डाउन बाय अबाउट फाइव परसेंट विच इज ह्यूज राइट निफ्टी वॉज एज वेल डाउन आई थिंक अबाउट टू राइट सो विल जस्ट गो हैव अ लुक एट द चार्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट निफ्टी as well as bank nifty and then let's move to the stocks that we are looking forward to trade tomorrow so let us get started guys <clears throat> so guys this is the chart of bank nifty on a daily time frame as you can see over here we are now trading below this crucial support now this was the zone of accumulation from where this big momentum started in bank nifty we saw the market giving a retest and now we are trading below this zone so remember one thing for now our view is going to be sell on rise correct and as far as intraday is concerned yes we may see some pullbacks because i'll tell you how the markets behave right now in this case what will happen is that the scenario is going to be pretty much similar something like this the market will go down right it will come up a bit it will go down come up a bit go down come up a bit and then again it will start falling aisa hi abhi bank nifty mein bhi ho sakta hai right it is falling it will give a pullback probably a retest and then again start to fall right so make sure that you do not take any long position for swing trading in the financial sector until uh, you know the market starts to show some strength now how will the strength seem like you want bank nifty to spend some time over here you know form a base and then give us a breakout on the upside now this is how you are supposed to look forward when it comes to bank nifty if you look at nifty So guys, this is the chart of Nifty on a five minutes time frame. If you look at the chart over here, we have this abrupt candle. Now, what is the reason for this? Let's go to our Telegram channel, right, where I shared an image as well. So yeah, here it is. So if you see, we got this notification that there is an issue with data feeds for NSE stocks from the exchange across all brokers. Please check twenty depth before placing orders. So basically, data ही नहीं मिल रहा था जितने भी trading software से उनको. So they were not able to Give the data. Actually, chart hang हो गया था, especially bank Nifty or Nifty का, ठीक है? And that's why I think during such scenarios, right? So the glitch was observed first at nine thirty six. Now these are the scenarios in which you should actually avoid trading. So for me today was like a rest day, no trading on such volatile days, right? But the view is pretty much clear. The chart which I'm sharing right now was shared live on Telegram as well. That now that we are trading below. this level when it comes to bank nifty you should only look for sell on rise opportunity right so again i'm saying that uh, do not uh, uh, you know be positioned very heavily try to trade the markets with less position sizing so take less risk because these are volatile times price action is not something which is going to work what is going to work is your risk management and position sizing now let's move forward to some stocks right so on the stocks part we have some interesting structures happening Right. So the first stock on my radar is Emphasis. Again, make sure that you always look a chart on a daily time frame. Now have a look at this stock. The good part over here is that this stock was consolidating within this range. Correct? Can you see over here? And then we saw this breakdown happening. But after the breakdown, the market again came back inside the range. And if you go to the chart on a fifteen minutes time frame, what do we see? It's actually consolidating within this particular range. Let's go to hourly time frame. Right. It's it's actually forming this very tight range right on the downside as well as upside so what we can expect is a very strong breakout or breakdown uh, i am expecting a breakout because uh, the structure is such right so above these levels i want to go long the level is uh, yes uh, 3172 and my stop loss for now i will go to 15 minutes time frame for a shorter stop loss so i think the stop loss is going to be a little harsh in this case uh, 3112 but yes this can give a very very strong momentum on the upside so keep this on your buying radar next stock on my radar is hind copper again a pretty interesting structure if you look at hind copper uh, again this particular upside momentum right in a bearish market is very very strong and not just that what i particularly like is that in the last 3 days this is not falling hind copper is not falling it actually Opened with a gap up on this day, filled the gap, and now it's sustaining at these levels. So we want to go long at one twenty six with 
123.55 as our stop loss. So this is Hind Copper for you. Let's move on to another stock, which is Aurobindo Pharma and UPL. Again, UPL is that one stock, which is looking very, very strong. So let's have a look at it. Guys, on UPL, if you see, it actually broke down this particular range. And now it's again back inside the ring. Now, this is not a good sign for the bears over here, right? They shot it over here because, you know, they obviously would have assumed that the support is taken out. And now the markets are trading well above their entry. Correct. Now, let's go to 15 minutes time frame to understand, you know, what kind of rise action we are seeing. Uh, let's go to hourly time frame as well. The markets are so volatile that right now, uh, hourly time frame looks much better, right? So again, it's very simple over here. We are seeing a strong momentum consolidation. So we'll go long above, above, above these levels and the levels is, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and the levels are uh, 735 with our stop loss as, just a minute, yeah. Our stop loss will be very small over here, which is 723, right? So this is the understanding on UPL. The next stock on our radar is Aurobindo Pharma. So guys, this is Aurobindo Pharma on a daily time frame. If you see, this was a crucial support from where the market made a new swing high. And now we have a bullish pin bar exactly at this support. Now, let's do one thing. Let's go on a 15 minutes time frame or an hourly time frame to understand the price action. Right? Like I said, you know, at this point of time, hourly is much clear with lesser noise. Right? So above these levels is where we want to go long. You see, it's Test ho chuka hai bahut bar and iske upar hume long jana hai, which is uh, above these levels, right? Let's go to 15 minutes time frame to see what uh, entries we can get. So let me just mark the area over here. The buy area for me is going to be above these levels, which is 610, and my stop loss is going to be 600, right? So this is my view on Aurobindo Pharma, and these are the four stocks to trade for you tomorrow. So guys, these are the stocks to trade for tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much, guys.